I'm a numerologist astrologer. I basically by default am expert at everything because mm. of that. You know, I'll know a little bit that other people won't know based off my knowledge in numerology and astrology. And I'm going to tell you, 2026 is going to be a bloodbath. Um, I also think a lot of crypto is going to die in 2024. Interesting. I, I think some. I, I think uh, we're going to start thinning the herd. Okay. Um, at at some From point. Regulation. At, at, exactly. At yep. some point, um, they're going to really start cracking down. I believe FTX was like, um, you know, the test. Yeah. Uh, where it say something like Coinbase or you know something like that goes down. Oh, you're. We're, we're 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 talking about regulations across the board. Yep. And I think that's exactly what the government wants. I don't believe all these people who say Bitcoin is the way you beat the feds. Bitcoin is how you beat the market. <laughs> right. I think that's their next plan to take to the next level. Think about it. They want a cashless society. Yeah. They want a cashless society. Yep. So first we thing we're going to do, they're like, oh, they're, they're going to reset the financial system. You're going to wake up one day. They're going to say, you need this card, and, and it's going to be connected to digital currency. And then we're going to tax you directly from that card. First, it's going to be 5%. Then it's going to be 10%. Then it's going to be 25 And then these communists are going to say, come in and give me our fair share. And then they're going to start taking everything. And what's going to happen after that is they're going to have a world power outage. And we're talking about 2040s. We're okay. all around the world. And all of a sudden, no one's going to be able to buy anything. No one's going to be able to sell anything. And that's when they're going to start saying, yo, we need to put chips inside people. Yikes. That's and when they're going to say, so first crypto, then they're going to start expanding this crypto to a cashless society. And the next step is put chips into people when you have that uh, worldwide power outage, which they plan. And a lot of people be like, yo, how do you know this stuff? And it's very simple. They plan things decades ahead of time. Mm. They literally plan things decades ahead of time. They plan to sink the Titanic long before they actually sunk the Titanic. Yep. They do things, and as long as you understand that, you're going to be ahead of the game. Yeah, and you got to, for things like this, I think it's actually very valuable for people to like suspend their disbelief a little bit, take in some information that maybe, you know, uh, is new to them, right? And then use some of these data points that Gary's giving us basically here and just, you know, uh, critically think on them, right? And, and look for some of these things because sometimes you, like would never think about something like that, right? But if you have thought about it, you thought about the possibility of it, then if you do actually start start seeing signs of it, right? Then you can actually do something about it. Maybe protect yourself a little bit more. Maybe, you know, become more self-sufficient and more self-sovereign, right? And so you were talking about gold, silver, um, some currencies yeah, and stuff like that. Uh, is, uh, you listen, know, I, I personally believe that everyone who can afford to have some gold should have it. I mean, I, I've literally went to houses of billionaires and they open up, you know, basically suitcases with millions of dollars worth of gold in it. Yep. Gold is never going anywhere, guys. Um, and no matter if you're a full-time believing in crypto, you need to hedge. The hedge is gold. And I'm going to tell you guys So how something. many Rolexes are uh, we talking about? Uh, we're not Gary? talking about Rolex. We're talking <laughs> about real gold. Yeah, yeah. Not Rolexes. We're talking about uh, so American not... Eagles, okay. Toronto, uh, Canadian Maple Leafs, Chinese Pandas. Gotcha. The one ounce gold coins, they're absolutely pure. The only one that's pure is the Canadian Maple Leaf, but they're so soft. You mm. can actually uh, dent them and stuff like that. Um, you need real gold. And don't get no golden certificates. Don't 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 get no golden certificates. Oh, we got your gold. Don't worry about it. That's how the Rothschilds built their empire in the 1800s. Uh, people are greedy. Yes. People are so fucking greedy. The Rothschilds, uh, the way they came came into power, one of the ways is uh, uh, the dad sent all his sons to all the European headquarters: Paris, uh, Brussels, London, uh, Madrid. He sent them all over. And in the 1800s, you know, it wasn't like it is today. If you go on the streets, you, you know, you take your carriage, there could be people who are robbing you. Mm. So what they did was the Rothschilds offered to keep people's gold safe. How What benevolent <laughs> right. people these were. They just wanted to keep people's gold safe for no reason. So what they did was you could cash in your gold in London. They would give you certificates okay. of gold. And then you go to Paris mm. and you take the gold out. And what the Rothschilds realized was people were so greedy they didn't even care about the gold after a while. They cared about the golden certificates. Right. And Promise. basically, that is what basically built their empire. So all these people who hate the Rothschilds, it was human greed that actually made them. Mm. Yeah. 
That, that's very logical. It and, makes and, perfect and, sense. And it's unfortunate that human nature is like that, but yeah. we, we, it is what it is. But, all the Edward Snowden stuff, right? People thought it was yeah. batshit crazy, and yeah. turns out 100% true, if not not even the full truth. Yeah, he, he, he did that in his wrong year. Aiden Snowden is born 1983, year of the pig, and he decided to release information 2013, year of the snake. Uh, that's his enemy year. He should have done it mm. the year before or the year after. He uh, he could have done a lot more damage if he actually did it. But the NSA was actually founded in a snake year. Uh, the guy who was the head of the NSA. Okay. So they were going, Clapper, I believe his name was, and they were going back and forth at each other. It's always intriguing once you actually know how the enemy sign concept works. Right. I just did it with you know the horse and the rat and all these other stuff. You see how it works in everyday life. Yep. Again, Kobe and Shaq didn't like each other. Horse <laughs> and rat. Right. You know, it's, it's always there. they still want championships. Uh, the numerology has something to do with that. Okay. But they didn't like each other. Yeah. You know, Very it is what it is.